Greetings, I'm Richard Baker, coming to you from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, this is a photo of my studio in Somerville that I just moved into in September of 2019. Here I am at the top of the ladder, uh, having just unpacked my downsized library, having just moved from New York. Many years ago, I featured books in various still life paintings. And then in 2004, I um, began doing full on portraits of uh, primarily paperback books. Here is my home studio in the kitchen that I've been working at for the past two months or God knows how long. About uh, a year and a half or more ago, I conceived of uh, a show specifically for Arthur Roger Gallery in New Orleans. Uh, it's a, a, a show entirely of uh, paintings of cookbooks. Uh, I want to give one quick shout out to a very special bookstore in um, in New York City on East 2nd Street called uh, Bonnie Slotnick Cookbooks. And it's, a, it's a bookstore that only sells cookbooks and it's a gem. And it was such a, such a great source for many of these books. The interesting thing about painting these is that first of all, most of them are really well loved. They're very abused. They've actually, you can see that they've been used. They're not precious items. Um, the other really interesting thing is what can be gleaned about the culture uh, of the time these books were published. Uh, from 1885, much domestic contentment depends upon the successful preparation of the meal. And as food rendered indigestible through ignorance and cooking often creates discord and unhappiness, it behooves the young housekeeper to learn the art of cooking. La Cuisine Creole. So these things were like chock full of things that reveal uh, uh, gender roles, um, uh, race uh, issues, um, uh, all kinds of demographics. It's a, they're fascinating uh, sociological pictures and portraits of a very specific time period and often a very specific place. Um, this is the Congressional Club Cookbook from 1965. New wives of Congress find here a haven from many lonely hours and the fellowship one so desperately needs upon arrival in Washington. From 1953, the Modern Family Cookbook. Unless you belong to the 10% whose budget is not strictly limited, you're daily faced with the necessity of budgeting the income of one average husband, a problem to stagger any financier. So you can see that most of these are pitched towards uh, female housewives and uh, female housekeepers, uh, and even ones who that, that tend to uh, try to include men uh, do it in um, sometimes very peculiar ways. This is from uh, 1959's The River Road Recipes, um, and they have an entire chapter called How Men Cook, and uh, the text explains that the recipes are left in the men's own words so as to preserve the original flavor <laughs> and poke fun at the men, no doubt. And uh, I wish I could have come to New Orleans. New Orleans is a great, great city, great eating city. Um, and uh, uh, I miss seeing everyone there. So uh, thank you for uh, watching, for tuning in. And um, stay sane, stay safe. Um, God bless.